All right, so I'm playing Assassin's Creed 3. This game is very, very, very well done by Ubisoft. This is a game that if you play any of the previous Assassin's Creed, you will just be blown away by the game. So I'm showing you this little segment from the game where I'm basically trying to find all these underground exits underneath New York. And it is so great how they weaved in this puzzle that involves this little masonic passage right here, so I'll read it. All performance among masons is grounded upon real worth and personal merit only. That's so the Lord's may be well served. The brethren not put to shame, nor the royal craft despise. Therefore, no master or warden is chosen by seniority, but for his merit, as seen from above by the all-seeing eye. It is impossible to describe these things in writing, and every brother must attend in his place and learn them in a way peculiar to this fraternity as decreed by the double-headed eagle of the East. Only canons may know that no master should take an apprentice unless he has sufficient employment for him. And unless he be a perfect youth having no maim or defects in his body that may render him incapable of learning the art of serving his master's lord. And of being made a very true to the moral standards and rights of kings. And then the fellow craft in due time even after he has served such a term of years as, as the custom of the country directs and that he should be descendant of honest parents that so, when otherwise qualified, he may arrive to the honor of being the warden, and then the master of the lodge, the grand warden, and at length the grand master of all the lodges, according to his merit. No brother can be a warden until he has passed the part of a fellow craft, nor a master until he has acted as a warden, nor a grand warden until he has been master of a lodge, nor a grand master unless he has been a fellow craft before his election who is also to be nobly born, or a gentleman of the best fashion, or some eminent scholar, or some curious architect, or other artist, descendant of honest parents, and who is a similar great merit in the opinion of the lodges. And for the better, and easier, and more honorable discharge of his office, the Grand Master has the power to choose his own deputy Grand Master, who must be then, or must have been formerly, the master of a peculiar law a block of a particular lodge, and has the privilege of acting whatever the Grand Master is principal to act, unless the said principal be present or imposes authority by a letter. These rulers and governors, supreme and subordinate of the ancient lodge, are to be obeyed in their respective stations by all the brethren, according to the old charges and regulations, with all humility, reverence, love, and alacrity with all masons under the vision on the brotherhood. So this entire passage right here basically serves as a hint to this puzzle that I have which I'm about to show you. And from what I can tell, all the all of the capital letters like but for his merit as seen and peculiar to his fraternity had to do with the puzzle basically. It basically, you know, it's basically a hint. So and then look back at this is a puzzle right here where I basically have to put these symbols in a certain order. I'm gonna look at the passage once more. It says Mary has seen from above by the all seeing eye, okay. But I see peculiar to this fraternity as decreed by the double headed eagle of the east. I see I see there's a double headed eagle right there. It says it's from the east. I'm going to put him on the right right here. I'm going to move all the other ones up here for now. That one's going to stay right there. So let me look at the hint again. His merit as seen from above by the all-seeing eye. Okay, so maybe the eye probably goes up top. So I'm going to put everything over here. I'm going to leave the eye right there. Leave that right there now. This crown, view the hint. Be made by the fruits, the moral standards, and rights of kings. Hmm. No brother can be all masons under the vision of the on the brotherhood. 
Okay, so I'm assuming that I'll put the crown right here, and I'll put the Masonic symbol under here because it's under the eye. Because as you can see, it said all Masons are under the vision of the Brotherhood. So let me hope that's right. No, it is not right. So let me try this again. Decree by the double headed eagle of the east. All Mason are division on the Brotherhood. Okay, so moral standards and rights of kings. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I gotta switch the position of of the double-headed eagle, I guess. Maybe I was wrong about the east part. Oh, I was wrong. So, yeah, right to the king. So the king has to be on the right. That's weird. You would think the phoenix, I mean, the double-headed eagle would be on the right because, you know, it's at east and whatnot. But, hey, that's right right there. So put this lantern down. And, yeah, I, I guess I'll exit.